Hello everyone and welcome to another video on chapter 5 part 1. This is about interface and just some introduction about what mitosis actually is. Now more accurately, this section should be named the mitotic cell cycle. Because as you can see here, mitosis, which is right here, it only covers a small section of the entire cell cycle. Now, before we talk about what happens the rest of the cell cycle in a process called interface, let's run through some introductory comments about cell division. Now, cell division is really important because if you think about it, um, we all started from just one cell. And from one cell, we became two, well, like the iPhone camera. And then from two cells, we became four. And that continued again and again until we, we are who we are now. And every single cell in our body are genetically identical except gametes. And we owe this to cell division. Cell division is where cells reproduce and divide to pass copies of genes to doctor cells. Now, as I said just now, there are most of our cells are genetically identical except gametes. Um, our normal cells, our somatic cells, which are all cells except for gametes, are diploid. And diploid cells have two sets of chromosomes. One is from maternal, so one's from the mom, from your mom, and one's from your dad. Okay, so your mom contributes one set of chromosomes N, your dad contributes one set of chromosomes N, which forms you, 2N, a diploid organism. In humans, our diploid number is 46. And we um, all these somatic cells are formed as a result of mitosis. Mitosis is a type of cell division, as you may have heard already. Now, how about gametes? Gametes are haploid cells and only have one set of chromosomes. So instead of 2N, we say that they have N. It's just N for them. Now, this haploid number in humans is 23 and gametes are basically formed as a result of meiosis. Meiosis is also called reduction division because what meiosis does is take a 2N cell, a diploid cell, and make them into haploid cells in the process of meiosis. So that's why it's called reduction div division because they result in non-genetically identical daughter cells. The, the daughter cells are not genetically identical to the parents. So yeah, those are two types. We're going to be learning about mitosis in our next video. Um, and meiosis, we'll be learning it in A2. Okay, now again, we are in the introduction for mitosis right now. Let's talk a little bit more about how important it is. Now, firstly, of course, as I've been saying all this while, it results in two genetically identical daughter cells. This is really important because um, we want those number of chromosomes to be maintained. We want the same um, function and same stability for the daughter cells as well as for the parent cells. So we want the daughter cells to do all the things the parent cell can do. So that is the first biological importance and that is very important for mitosis, yeah? But these three other points um, also highlight the importance of mitosis, especially in multicellular organisms. So the first point here, well, second point here is growth of multicellular organisms. So for example, me and you, again, me and you are multicellular organisms. We came from one cell and we grew into this fully formed human being by mitosis, right? One cell became two, two cells became four, and so on and so forth. And we grew. However, if you think this cannot be applied to unicellular organisms, because unicellular organisms do not grow by mitosis. Okay, unicellular organisms can divide, but then one organism will become two organisms. That individual itself doesn't 
grow because of mitosis. They just become larger in size in that one cell. That is not cell division. That is not mitosis. All right. So be careful when you are um, looking at your the, the question and writing your answers. Growth of multicellular organisms. On the same note, uh, this is really important as well. Mitosis is very important as, as well for cell replacement and tissue repair. When a cell dies or is destroyed because you cut yourself or, or something along those lines, okay, you got hurt. When the cell dies, another cell can divide by mitosis in order to replace that cell that died. So that is cell replacement. Now tissue repair is pretty much the same thing because this cell that died would be in the tissue, right? So to repair the tissue, you have to undergo cell replacement. So these two are actually interconnected. They are not separate points. Now, I think one common mistake though is that people write cell repair. Now, cell repair happens within the cell itself and does not require cell division. And it's a rejected answer. That's not right. And some people also say tissue replacement. Now, the only way to replace your entire tissue is to cut it all out and put, it, put a new one in maybe from someone else. So that's, again, not cell division. That is definitely not right. So, yeah, be careful of these tricks um, and terminologies and language used here, okay? All right, so other than growth, cell replacement, tissue repair, what else? Um, asexual reproduction. That's the fourth thing, right? This is especially applicable to plants which reproduce by vegetative reproduction or cloning. And you can see here um, these runner plants like strawberry or some form of grass, they do propagate in this manner using mitosis. They don't undergo sexual reproduction. So yeah, those things are the importance of mitosis. Now, we can enter the mitotic cell cycle. Okay, as I mentioned in the beginning of the lecture, mitosis, which is right here, or the M phase, only takes up a small part of the cell cycle. The rest of the cell cycle really is interphase. An interphase is composed of three different stages we'll talk about today. Right, G1 is growth. Growth one, the first growth phase that's written here. And S uh, stands for synthesis. This is the phase of DNA replication. This is where the DNA replication occurs. And that's G2, which is also a growth phase, uh, but the second one, second growth phase. So G1, S, and G2. Then we have M phase, uh, which we'll be talking about next video, followed by cytokinesis, which is a very tiny part right at the end of telophase right here. Okay, let's just focus on interphase today. Interphase. So let's go again. Three different phases in interphase. Number one is G1. G stands for growth. So obviously growth happens within the cell. There is synthesis of proteins and other substances that the cells require. And then we can go into the S phase. S phase is called S phase because S stands for synthesis, and that's because DNA replication occurs at this phase. DNA replication is where one sister chromatid, sorry, one chromatid duplicates itself into sister chromatids. There is a doubling of DNA here. And there is G2 phase. G2 phase, right after S phase, it also stands for growth and um, really prepares the cell to go into mitosis, as you can see here in the diagram. How does the cell prepare for mitosis? There is the, there is the duplication of centrals. So as we learned in chapter one, two centrals form one centrosome. Okay, and there will be two pairs of centrosomes for, and you can see here. 
Now, other than that, there is also repair of DNA replication errors. And that's because sometimes, right, very rare, but sometimes there might be errors in DNA replication in the S phase. And before the cell goes into mitosis, you want to repair that because you don't want to pass on mutated DNA to daughter cells. You want to make sure that DNA replication is fixed. So the repair also happens at G2 phase right before mitosis occurs. Now there's another note I want to say is that in interphase, even though I drew the chromosomes like this, these chromosomes are actually not visible in this condensed form just yet. It's, it's um, more like a bowl of spaghetti, honestly. It is in the form of chromatin. It is not visible under the microscope yet. It's just like a really, um, yeah, it's just a, it looks like a mess, but it actually is not. It looks like a mess. It's not condensed just yet, and you can't see the chromosomes just yet. Okay. All right. Now, with that, we are done with interface, and we are ready to go into mitosis. We'll do that in the next video. Bye.